Hello, in this video today, I am going to show you how to make Doodle videos with Create Studio Pro. If you are not familiar with Doodle videos, they are simply whiteboard animation videos that have been gaining popularity over the last few years. They are often used to explain complex concepts in a simple and visually appealing way. Creating a Doodle video with Create Studio Pro is relatively easy and only takes a few minutes. While Create Studio Pro isn't a dedicated Doodle animation software, it does have all the tools you need to create your own Doodle video from start to finish. Now let's see how to make a Doodle video with Create Studio Pro. The first thing we need to do is launch the software. Now here we can either use one of the ready-made templates to create our own Doodle video or we can start from scratch. Let us see how to create Doodle videos starting from scratch. I'm not going to create an entire video for this demo, but I will show you all the important features inside Create Studio Pro using which you can easily create your own Doodle videos. Let me start by creating a new project. The very first thing I like to do is adjust my canvas size. The default canvas size is too small for my liking. Now let's see how to create the doodle effect inside this tool. First, let's create a doodle animation for text. For that, I'm going to click on this text option on the top. Now, let me type some random text here and format it a bit. To add the hand animation effect to this text, I am going to click on the effect section and choose the doodle effect and then drag and drop it onto the text element inside canvas or in the timeline. And just like that, we have a hand writing the text giving the impression that it is being doodled. If you want, you can further customize this effect by going into the properties panel and adjusting things like the speed, shake, etc. We can do that from inside the timeline. The first thing we can do is adjust the speed and duration of the animation. To reduce the speed, we need to drag this keyframe icon towards the right which also increases the duration of the doodle animation. Now, if you see here, by default, the shaking effect in the animated hand is a little too much for my liking, so I'm going to reduce it. To do that, I'm going to click on the section that says Drawing inside the timeline. This opens up a new window where we have more customization options. If you see here, there is a hand size option which we can use to adjust the size of the hand. I like to keep it at 50%. Then there is this shaking option which we can use to reduce the shaking effect and make the animation look more natural. I have found that keeping it to 40% for text and 10% for shapes and pictures works really well. Then again, these are my personal preferences. Feel free to play around with these settings and see what works best for you. There is also an option to hide the hand. By turning off this toggle, we can hide the hand from our animation. This can work great for creating some cool animation effects, especially for text or video reveals. 
I'm going to leave the hand visible for now. I'm also going to leave this final option as it is. Now, if you see at the top, there are two options. One is for drawing and the other for erasing. If you choose this erasing option, you can create some really cool erase effects. The erase effect is automatically added to your animation at the end of that particular slide. By dragging this keyframe icon, we can easily change the speed and the duration of the animation as we did earlier. I personally don't like to have the erasing effect on my doodle animations, but you can experiment with it if you like. There are also automatic and manual modes for the doodle effect. In the automatic mode, the drawing path is automatically generated. In the manual mode, you can control the path of the drawing hand by adjusting these keyframes. I prefer to use the automatic mode for most of my animations. Having said that, if you want more control over the drawing path, you can always switch to the manual mode. It does help us create some really cool effects, especially when drawing imported images. But please remember that it is going to take more time to create animations in manual mode. Finally, you have the option to choose the hand style. There are different choices of hands based on gender, color, pen style and more. There are also some really cool 2D and 3D cartoon hand options that can help you add some fun and personality to your videos. You also have the option to choose the right or the left hand. That's pretty much it when it comes to the doodle settings inside the Create Studio Pro software. Now let's quickly see how to use this doodle effect for characters and other media assets. I'm going to drag a random character onto the canvas. If you see here, this particular character already has the waving animation. Now this may interfere with the doodle animation effect that we are going to add. So I am going to change this animation action to idle. Next I am going to add the doodle effect to this character. As we did with the text, we can customize this animation to suit our needs. Once the hand finishes drawing the character, we can assign different animations to this character to bring it alive. We can also use the inbuilt doodle characters to make the video content even more engaging.
Next, let's add a shape to the canvas and give it the doodle effect. I can go even more further and add an animation to this shape. I'm going to add a moving effect to this shape. Then I will copy the shape two or three times and give it different colors and animate it the same way. This will give us a really cool and fun animation. We can also add doodle effects to images and videos. Let me download a video from one of the royalty free media sites integrated with Create Studio Pro. I will choose one from this collection. Now I am going to drag this video to the canvas and add the doodle effect. I'm going to hide the hand for this one and reduce the speed. As you can see this creates a really fantastic video reveal type of animation. It can be even more effective if you add some music to it. You can then export your video in your desired format. And that's how you can create doodle animation inside Create Studio Pro. As you just saw, it is mostly drag and drop and even if you are a beginner, you can create some really cool animations using this tool. Now go ahead and experiment with Create Studio Pro and see what all you can come up with. I'm sure you'll be able to create some amazing stuff. I've given the link to Create Studio Pro lifetime deal in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.